Hello everyone, this is Sheila and this video is about propagating succulents through cutting or trimming. Also in this video, I'll be showing you how these succulents can correct human errors that may seem impossible to fix. It's something that most of you, if not all of you, have never seen before. So let's proceed. Key point number one, simply cut the size of the succulent that you want to propagate and you have another succulent. Although this is not a strict requirement, try your best to make a diagonal cut to maximize or increase the size of the tip that would shoot out roots. Even I am not always doing this like this stump right here, but it is still ideal. Here's a tiny cutting that I planted about a month ago and look at the root system on this tiny guy. Key point number two, make sure that you avoid cutting all the way to the base. Why? Because the stump of the mother plant is going to shoot more pups. So you are actually getting more than two succulents with one cut. Here are other examples of the base of the mother plant with new little pups. Here's the mother plant with twin pups, the middle part with one, and the crown all rooted. And if you want to have more succulents, remember to hit that like button. Key point number three, you don't really have to wait for the tip to callus over to plant the cuttings. You can plant the cutting directly into the soil as long as your soil is dry. If your soil is wet or damp, then you definitely need to make sure that the tip has calloused over. We are also talking about rooting in water and in soil in tip number six. But for now, key point number four, don't water the planted cuttings for at least two weeks. I suggest watering your planted cuttings around the end of the third week, whether your cuttings are calloused or not. And this leads me to key point number five, which is to place your newly planted cuttings in a cool spot. This is where I place my newly planted cuttings and this pot has minimal sun exposure with an average temperature of 73 degrees Fahrenheit. And before I show you how these succulents correct human error, which is so interesting, here's key point number six. Did you know that you can grow roots on succulents with woody stem in water? So if you are not ready with a cactus soil mix, you can put them in water. These guys have been growing their root system in water for about two months now. This guy right here, I found drying in an empty shopping cart that I was about to use. And he probably broke off when somebody bought a whole plant. And so I picked him up, brought him home and placed him in water. He pushed forth roots within two days. And on the fourth day, this is how much root he has. He is still looking very dry here, but he was back to health in no time at all. Let me also share with you this guy here. Although this one is more of saving him because he had a really bad mealybug infestation, which I didn't have at all before. But just to show you, even if you go crazy with cutting off and propagating every single rosette, they will still push forth new buds. String of pearls propagate really well through cuttings too. Look at all these tiny buds. You simply insert about half an inch to an inch of the tip into the soil and you're all done. And now, here's what I was talking about at the start of this video. And it's about these cuttings and how it corrects human errors. So all of these are from one mother plant. Each one rooted and started growing pups without any issue. And then I noticed something peculiar with one of them. I have planted this guy bottom up. I accidentally inserted the top end into the soil. Then what I saw blew me away. It grew pups up and down. So if you would look here, there are pups growing downward. And at the other end, which used to be the top, but now it's the base, there are two pups growing upward, like upright, the right way. See, here's the bottom end. And I guess in my haste, I didn't notice that this was inverted. 
I decided not to change its orientation because I think I will just mess up this poor little guy further. Let me just show you a closer view of the upright pups. I think this is so worth sharing with you guys too because there is another peculiar thing about this guy. He is actually the one that pushed the most pups too. He gave me four upside down pups and two upright pups. So this one gave me four pups. This one gave me just two cute ones. And here's the very lovely crown. And this one gave me two. And this one just one tiny pup. See how forgiving and resilient these succulents are? Which leads me to my message for you today, which is be unstoppable. If you know that your endeavor is worth doing and you're not hurting another person in the process, be relentless despite the obstacles. So keep propagating, be mindful of the tips in this video. If at first you are not successful, never give up and soon you'll have more succulents. Again, be unstoppable. Thank you. This is Sheila again, your person on a mission for succulent fame. Sending inspirations your way with every succulent. Remember to subscribe and share this video.